Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Anubhav and I'm Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco Systems. In this short video, I will cover step-by-step -step deployment of Firepower Management Center in Amazon Web Services. Before I show you step-by-step -step deployment, let me talk a little bit about what is Firepower Management Center. FMC is a management console for next generation appliances. You can manage next generation firewall, next generation IPS using this appliance. We have this appliance in multiple form factors. We have it in physical um, appliance model. We have uh, virtual appliances, which can be deployed on KVM, uh, VMware, and even in Amazon Web Services. Using this appliance, you can not only manage your device, you can configure and check your events on next generation appliances. There are different use cases for using this virtual appliance uh, in Amazon Web Services. First use case is if you want to deploy uh, next generation firewall in AWS, you can manage your firewall using FMC running in Amazon. Other use cases, if you deploy your firewall in Azure and you want to manage that device, you can still use this virtual appliance and manage firewalls deployed in Azure. Third and the major use case that I see very often is if you have multiple sites where you have deployed multiple next generation firewalls or maybe next generation IPS and you don't have compute there and you don't have connectivity to your data center from those sites, then you can deploy FMC in Amazon and you can leverage this virtual appliance to manage all the firewalls at remote locations. With this, uh, I will quickly log into console of uh, Amazon Web Services and I will show you step-by-step -step deployment of this virtual appliance. Welcome back, I'm in Amazon Web Services console. In order to deploy Firepower Management Center, I need to select EC2 instances. From EC2 instances, I will click Launch Instances and then I will go to AWS Marketplace. In AWS Marketplace, I will look for Cisco Firepower and I will select BYOL for Firepower Management Center or FMC. We offer uh, two sizes for Firepower Management Center. We have 2XL and XL size. Both instances can manage up to 25 firewalls. However, if you are planning to send large number of events uh, to Firepower Management Center, I would suggest you to select 2XL. Uh, if you are planning to send moderate number of events, um, then uh, XL size is pretty fine. For this demo, I will select Excel size. So I'll just go ahead and select Excel from this particular screen and click configure instance detail. Now on this screen, I can select multiple instances if I want to deploy, but for this demo, I will quickly deploy one instance. From network uh, drop down menu, I need to select virtual private cloud in which I will be placing my Firepower Management Center. Next step is to assign subnet in which I will be deploying Firepower Management Center. So from this particular uh, drop-down menu, I will select Management Subnet. Now, um, there are a couple of options for managing this device. If your data center is connected to Amazon Web Services uh, using Direct Connect, you can skip this public IP assignment, uh, but uh, if there is no connection between your data center and your cloud and you want to manage this device, you need to assign public IP address. So for this demo, I'll straight away go and enable auto public IP assignment and I will leave other options at the default values. Now here on this screen, you will notice that this interface that I see here is going to be placed in management subnet and I will use auto assignment for um, IP. I can I can put in uh, my uh, my IP address here as here as well. I can hard code that, but for this demo, I'll just straight away leave it at auto assign. 
I will click on storage now. Um, by default, we provision this device on 250 gigs and we recommend that value to be there. Don't reduce it or increase it, just click uh, add tag. Here you can add tag so that you can uh, recognize this in your EC2 instances page. So I'll just give it, uh, give this attribute uh, name uh, here. FMC02. When you deploy FMC or any workload in public cloud or in Amazon Web Services, they ask you to associate security group. And in security group, you need to allow traffic. By default, port 22 here uh, and port 80 and 443 is allowed. But if you want to manage uh, next generation firewall using this virtual appliance, you need to allow another port, which is TCP 8305, which is used for creating SF tunnel between your firewall and firepower management center. We want secured communication, so that port is required for that. So uh, I will go ahead and add uh, here TCP custom, and I will add A305 from any source for now. I don't want to restrict anything in the demo, so I'll just use any source. I will click review and launch. I will scroll down and I can read whatever uh, options I've specified in previous windows and I will click on launch. Now when I go to launch option here, um, this part is really important because when you access your device uh, using SSH first time, you need to specify this key. You have option of creating a new key or if you already have a key there, you can use that one. So I already have this key uh, saved in my laptop and it's already there in my uh, AWS account so I'm not going to create another key. I'm just going to use uh, my existing key and I will check this box and click on launch instance. Now in the background this FMC is now getting deployed. This process can take between 10 to 15 minutes because this is a, a virtual appliance which has um, integration with database. So this, this is going to take a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, I'll just go ahead and um, go back to EC2 instances and I'll just show you progress of this installation. So now I'm back in EC2 instances. I will click on instances now. And if you look here, uh, this instance is getting initialized. Uh, so I'll just give it a name, V2. So I have uh, started uh, deployment of this particular virtual appliance. And we also have assigned public IP address. Using this public IP address, we will access uh, this virtual appliance using SSH for the first time. And we'll use this key which is here, ltrsec3052-key.pem. If you are using Mac, it is .pem. If you are using Windows machine, then you need to convert this uh, pem file to ppk file using partygen tool, and then you can use putty to SSH this virtual appliance and just browse that ppk file when you initiate SSH session. So with this, I'm going to pause this video and I'll be resuming this video once this FMC is deployed. Welcome back. Now FMC is deployed and I'm using this IP address to access my uh, Firepower Management Center. I'm going to use this command SSH-I downloads and this is my PEM file. So this file is stored in download folder and I'm going to use default username which is admin at the rate and then IP address. Remember if you're using um, Windows operating system you need to convert this file to PPK file and then use putty to SSH this IP address with default username and when you will access this device it will not ask you for uh, password you just need to enter new password so now my uh, device is initialized I'm going to copy this IP address again and let me see if I'm able to access 
this device. Okay, so I'm now uh, connected to this one, so I'll go to advance, add exception, confirm exception, and let me type admin, and this is the same password which I added during uh, my SSH session, so new password that I've created, I'm going to use that with default username admin. When you log in for the first time, it'll ask you to insert password again, so I'm going to use that. And then I can scroll down, I can check these boxes, but for this demo, I'll just throw it away. And I'm not installing license as well. I'll just straight away click. I have read this uh, and agree to the end user license agreement. And I will click apply. So now uh, this process will take another two to three minutes to initialize complete uh, web interface. And once this is done, you can then access this device again using your uh, default username which is admin and your password and then you can use this virtual appliance to manage your next generation firewall or NGIPS. Okay so we are now connected and our FMC is initialized you can go to devices and you can add your firewalls again. So in this demo what I showed you is how to deploy firepower management center uh, and where this firepower management center can be used. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.